The Franco-Cantabrian region, located along the modern border of Spain and France through the Pyrenees, is a place of great interest for many researchers because of its important role in European history. This area was one of the most populated sanctuaries in Europe during the last Ice Age, and it is famous for some of the oldest known cave paintings in Europe. One of the most fascinating aspects of this region is the Basque people. The Basques have historically lived along the western edge of the Pyrenees, spread across what are now seven provinces, four in Spain, Gipuzkoa, Biscaya, Araba, and Nafaroa, and three in France, Zuberoa, Lapurdi, and Nafaroa Bejerea. The Basques are unique within Europe due to their distinct historical, cultural, and biological characteristics. One of the most notable aspects of Basque culture is their language, Euskara, which is unlike any other language in Europe. Euskara is not related to the Indo-European languages that dominate the continent, making it a linguistic isolate with no close ties to any other existing language. Historically, Euskara was spoken throughout all seven Basque provinces, but over time, it has retreated in the face of pressures from Romance languages like Spanish and French. It is believed that an ancient version of Euskara was once spoken over a much larger area, including parts of northern Spain and southern France. While Euskara may have acted as a cultural barrier, separating the Basques from neighboring populations, the various dialects of Euskara also created internal divisions. These dialects are so different from one another that they are hard to understand across regions. This region and its people, with their deep roots and unique cultural identity, continue to be a subject of fascination for historians, linguists, and anthropologists alike. Many scientists have studied the genetics of the Basque people but there's still a lot of debate about their history. This interest began when researchers noticed that a lot of Basques have the Rh negative blood type, a rare genetic trait. Later studies found that Basques are genetically distinct compared to other European populations, which led to the idea that they might have descended from an ancient group that remained isolated in their region. However, not all research agrees on this. Some studies suggest that Basques are not so different from other Europeans, hinting at a more widespread genetic similarity across the continent. The question of where the Basques came from is also hotly debated. Some research, focusing on genes passed down from one parent, suggests that Basques are descendants of ancient Europeans who stayed in the region after the last ice age. These studies propose that Basques are a relic of a pre-Neolithic population, but other research argues that they were influenced by the waves of people who migrated into Europe during the Neolithic period, challenging the idea that their genetics have remained unchanged since the Paleolithic era. More detailed genetic analyses have shown a continuity in their genes since before the Neolithic period and suggest that the Basques had a distinct genetic structure even before the Romans arrived. Supporting this, ancient DNA evidence indicates that Basques could be seen as a typical population of the Iberian Iron Age. They were significantly influenced by the steppe pastoralists who migrated into Europe after the Neolithic, but they seem to have avoided mixing with later groups like the Romans or North Africans. The debates don't stop there. Scientists are also unsure about the internal genetic diversity among them. Some studies show significant differences between Basques in France and those in Spain, with the latter being more similar to other Iberian groups. But other research suggests that they are relatively homogenous within their population and are distinctly different from non-Basque groups. This ongoing research into their genetics 
continues to raise more questions than it answers, making them one of the most intriguing populations in Europe. The conflicting results from previous studies on their genetics could be due to limitations in how those studies were conducted. The main issue is that these studies often used a small number of samples to represent their population and their neighbors, which might not have provided a full picture. Additionally, these earlier studies relied on older methods that focused on specific genetic markers or a limited number of samples and markers. To address these issues, the current study uses a more comprehensive approach examining the entire genome to better understand their unique genetic history, origins, and structure. This study includes a much larger and more detailed data set from the whole Franco-Cantabrian region, which helps to avoid the sampling biases that affected earlier research. By considering not just genetic data, but also ethno-linguistic information, the study can explore how cultural factors may have influenced the genetics of the Basques and their neighbors. Furthermore, this research uses more advanced methods that focus on haplotypes to detect subtle genetic structures and mixing patterns. This approach allows for a much finer and more accurate understanding of the, their population's genetic makeup. Scientists first studied them within a broader context to assess their genetic variability. In a principal component analysis, their samples appeared on the opposite end of the spectrum from the North African samples and at the edge of Europe, similar to Sardinians. The groups surrounding the Basque region, who traditionally speak Gascon and Spanish, fell in an intermediate position. Using admixture analysis, which examines the genetic ancestry components of these populations, scientists observed a distinct genetic pattern in the Basques. Notably, other genetic components found in the rest of European populations were almost absent in them. The groups around them displayed a similar pattern, but with small amounts of other external components that were absent in them. These results highlight that they have a distinct genetic identity with some shared ancestry with surrounding groups but also unique characteristics that set them apart from most other Europeans. They share haplotypes exclusively with the internal groups in the Franco-Cantabrian region. The study also revealed that the groups surrounding the Basque region, known as Peribasques, show some genetic differences from other European populations. While these Peribasque groups do cluster with Europeans, they form their own specific branch, with the exception of the Cantabrian samples, which align more closely with other Spanish populations. Furthermore, the Peribasques exhibit signs of genetic mixing with neighboring populations. This mixing likely occurred in a continuous but low-level manner between the 11th and 16th centuries, involving primarily Basque and Spanish ancestries. The study suggests that this gene flow between the Basques, Peribasques, and other nearby populations was influenced by significant demographic events in the region during that historical period. To better understand the genetic differences of the Basques, scientists looked at something called runs of homozygosity, which are stretches of DNA where the genetic material is identical on both chromosomes. They found that Basques have the highest number and length of these runs of homozygosity compared to other groups, even higher than Sardinians, who are also known for having long stretches. This suggests that the Basques, like the Sardinians, have experienced a lot of genetic isolation, meaning they haven't mixed much with other populations. In contrast, other populations outside of these areas showed fewer and shorter runs of homozygosity, indicating more genetic mixing. Additionally, 
when scientists estimated the effective population size, the number of individuals contributing to the gene pool, over time they saw that the Basques have had a low and stable population size for a long time. In contrast, other nearby groups like the Spanish and French saw a big population increase about a thousand generations ago. These findings suggest that the Basques, and to a lesser extent the Peri Basques, have been relatively isolated and experienced some inbreeding, which is when close relatives mate. This isolation was strong enough to erase any signs of population growth that might have happened in the distant past, like in surrounding populations. Scientists further analyzed ancient DNA to understand the unique genetics of the Basques. They found that Basques are closely related to ancient European hunter-gatherers, early farmers, and steppe herders, with less influence from Middle Eastern populations than other Europeans. This suggests that the Basque genetic uniqueness likely comes from demographic changes after the Iron Age, with limited mixing during Roman period. One of the big debates about the Basques is whether they have a lot of internal genetic diversity. Scientists found that when looking at the genetic data, Basques cluster together at one end of a genetic spectrum, with Spanish and French people at the other end, and groups living around the Basque region, Peri Basques, in between. This shows that Basques have a unique genetic makeup, even within their region. When they compared this to a similar study on Catalans, another group in Spain, the scientists noticed something interesting. Unlike the Basques, the Catalans didn't show any strong internal genetic differences based on where they lived. This suggests that the Basques' unique genetic clustering is specific to them and not just a result of the way the study was conducted. As the analysis became more detailed, it revealed specific genetic differences within the Basque population, dividing them into Western, Central, and Eastern groups. These genetic patterns match well with the geographical layout of the region, with little mixing from outside populations. While their neighboring Peri-Basque groups show some genetic mixing with Spanish and French populations, Basques have remained largely isolated, with minimal influence from major historical events like Romanization. The unique language of the Basques, Euskara, has likely played a key role in shaping the genetic distinctiveness of the Basque population. The study suggests that Euskara acted as a barrier to gene flow after the Iron Age, helping to preserve the Basques' genetic continuity and limiting the influence of other languages and populations. This research sheds new light on the long-debated genetic uniqueness of the Basques, offering more precise insights that challenge the idea of Basques as a relic population of Proto-Europeans. The study not only clarifies the Basques' demographic history, but also opens new avenues for research in archaeology and anthropology, particularly in understanding the connections between ancient remains, historical events, and the evolution of Euskara and its dialects. Importantly, this work highlights the need for a multidisciplinary approach when studying population history. By combining insights from genetics, anthropology, archaeology, and linguistics, researchers can build a more complete and accurate picture of the past. This collaborative effort is essential for producing well-rounded and reliable studies that advance our understanding of human history. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.